We have now made it to part four of the benchmarking series that I'm doing on the Samsung Galaxy S22. Now remember these scores are likely going to translate over to the S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra as well. Since those phones are using the same chip, the same storage, and for the most part the same RAM as well even though the Ultra variant has a higher RAM option. And also remember, this is the Snapdragon variant of the Galaxy S22 that we've been running these benchmarks on. And again, if you have the Exynos variant, I would love to see the benchmark numbers that you get using the comments section below. Now this video, we're gonna be doing a couple of benchmarks in the 3D Mark application. Let me open it up. We have a couple to choose from. At first we're going to be doing the wildlife extreme test. And in this test, we are getting an overall score of 2,621. We can see how the device compares to others. We won't be doing any of the stress tests in this video since they just take too long. So we're going to switch over to the wildlife. In the 3D Mark Wildlife benchmark test, the Samsung Galaxy S22 received an overall score of 9,767 with an average frame rate of 58.50. Again, we can see how this compares to some other devices. The next, we have the regular slingshot test in 3D Mark.
we can see the Snapdragon Galaxy S22 was able to max out 3D Mark's slingshot benchmark test. The first graphics test was able to get an 87.50 FPS score, while test 2 got 51.60. And our physics tests went from 74.7 .7 to 42.3 to 23.7 and here we have our performance monitoring and finally we're going to run the slingshot extreme benchmark test in 3d mark which is switching OpenGL up to 3.1 and the Vulkan API if it is supported which it should be on this device And we were able to max out the Slingshot Extreme benchmark test as well with OpenGL. Getting graphics test of 63.1 frames per second in the first test and 33.4 frames per second in the second. With physics scores of 76, 41, and 22. 
and we're going to run that extreme test again using Vulkan. And again, we were able to max out this benchmark as well. That wraps up this video covering all of the benchmarks in the 3D Mark application for Android. And again, these were run on the Snapdragon variant of the Samsung Galaxy S22 with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset so that we have a baseline of how this device performs in those benchmarks.